Hola senors and senoritas. Uh, I just want you to know that when I filmed this video, um, a lot of it was done just holding the GoPro in my hand because I was having issues with my gimbal, which now we're sorted out. So it's all smooth now, but um, originally, this is my second edit of the video. The first time I did it, I put warp stabilizer and it cropped everything. I didn't like it. So I'm just gonna have to, we're gonna have to, me and you, me and you are gonna have to rough it out with a little bit of shake. Like I say, everything's figured out now. So going forward, it'll be smooth. <clears throat> Hope you enjoy this nonsensical fun video of my trip to Utah. Hello there. It is midnight, uh, the end of, end of August. I am about to start a journey. So I'm heading to Utah right now. I'm fully packed up, ready to get the heck out of here. I'm heading to Salt Lake City, Utah to spend the next week and a half there. And there's gonna be lots of adventures. So you guys are gonna come with me as I get the heck out of here. So let's go. Well, hello. I have been driving for, uh, I would say five hours. Uh, my GPS phone stuff says that I am 12 hours and eight minutes from my destination. Currently just pulled over to take a pee, which is really nice at night because, yeah, there's no one to uh, stop you from peeing. <laughs> it's been really good. Uh, feeling really good, feeling alert. Uh, I am about to embark on the butt tour. So I'm gonna try to film every time I hit a butt sign. You'll understand when we get there. Uh, I did, oh, so the weather has been foggy, really foggy. It's been dark, uh, really hard to drive at times. I went over the Missouri River Bridge and I was disappointed because number one, the bridge isn't lit up and I really wanted to get a picture of it. Sorry, I'm adjusting myself. I really wanted to get a picture of that and it's just not happening. Uh, I'm gonna keep going and uh, we will commence the butt tour. We are in eagle butt. Check that butt out. I'm not sure if you can see me. Here, I'll turn the light on. I'm gonna stop for fuel, gonna keep going on. I think the next butt is bear butt or mud butt. Check out that butt. Ooh, it's a muddy butt. Mud butt. Well, the uh, sun is up finally, although you can barely tell due to all the frickin' fog I'm doing good uh, it shows me ten and a half, ten hours 20 minutes to my destination feeling wide awake getting kind of hungry I'm gonna try to eat and spearfish uh, while I was driving I saw a sign and by the time I passed it it was too late but it was for a thunder butt well I just entered into Wyoming uh, the sign above me says uh, 18 miles to Sundance, 50 miles to Moorcraft, 77 to Gillette. I don't think I'm going to Gillette. I'll probably go through it. I don't know. No, I'm going to go through Gillette. I missed uh, the chance to eat anywhere. Although I do see the uh, Devil's Tower National Monument uh, sign ahead of me. They have like a state park there, it's gorgeous. So far it is amazingly beautiful here. Uh, I'm in what you would consider the hills of South Dakota. Well, now into Wyoming anyway. Uh, feeling really, really good. I don't, uh, nine hours left on the trip. I don't foresee any reason for me to stop going. I think I'm out with the butts though. I think I'm done with the butts. I did go through Butt County though. And do know, people, when I say butt, I mean butte. I'm being facetious. But yeah, drive is going great, feeling fantastic. I did stop and get myself a couple of beef sticks and a coffee. Uh, coffee's delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Well, that was annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna keep driving. 
I know there's a couple spots. I haven't pulled out my camera yet. I keep meaning to, but I keep forgetting to. I know there's uh, some bluffs that I want to get some pictures of. I, if you look at my video from years and years ago, I did film the bluffs, part of the bluffs anyway, uh, in the rain on the, my trip back on the way home. But uh, I foresee no reason that I won't be able to stop then. And not a cloud in the sky today, blue, blue, blue. Right now the high is 68 Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm kicking. Yep. I'm in Midwest Wyoming and look at these bluffs here. I feel like I'm in a Western video game. It's a little update on the road from the road while I'm driving. I am two and a half hours from my destination in Salt Lake City, Utah. I am super stoked. I'm still awake. I have been driving for 16 and a half hours, I think. I think 16 and a half, it's about 19 hours with the stops and going and going. Uh, I've done a buttload of cocaine and crack and heroin and no heroin will put me sleep. I haven't done any drugs other than caffeine. I am feeling fantastic. Seriously though, I've done on drugs other than caffeine and caffeine. So uh, I just passed through pilot butt. And before that was Brown Butt Road. Sadly, I was charging the GoPro, so I didn't get a chance to film that. So, <laughs> pretty soon I'm gonna be starting the descent into the valley, uh, which means I probably gotta go up a little bit. I think right now the elevation I'm probably at is about 6,000. I've passed the Continental Divide many, many times. Uh, it's it's beautiful here. I'm gonna film a little bit of uh, front view, and uh, then I'm gonna turn the camera off, and uh, I will film when I get to my destination. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much the scenery. If it's a little shaky, it's not. It's because I'm not in the gimbal, because the gimbal spazzes out when I have the microphone. Ooh, that is a sweet car. I'm seeing a lot of Utah plates which tells me I'm getting probably pretty close to Utah. I haven't eaten since 10 o'clock this morning, but I'm not hungry. Like I say, I, uh, caffeine, lots of it. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and focus on the road now. I will, uh, yeah, when I get to my destination. Like I say, I'm gonna be starting to go up the, uh, Salt Lake is a, uh, a dust bowl. So pretty much I will be going up the can, up, 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 and then I'll start descending the canyon. It's beautiful. Uh, if you watch this terrible TV show, Yellowstone, with Kevin Costner, they did all their principal shots in Montana, but they film it uh, just outside of Salt Lake City because the scenery is pretty much the same. And it's probably really cheap to film in Utah. They probably get like, like all sorts of money. 
All right, the roads are getting hairy. So I'm gonna drive, concentrate on driving. So I arrive alive. Hey, remember when I said I was done filming? I lied. Because I gotta drive through a tunnel. And I don't know about you, but I think driving through tunnels is sweet. And probably upside down, I'll flip it later. No, that's right. I am currently about to drive past Fossil Butt Monument. I have no words. I really have no words. Fossil Butt. Huh. Alright, so I just stopped to pee again because copious amounts of caffeine. Although, I am just about to head down into uh, the valley making my descent. I just have to tell you guys, I found another butt. And this might be the best butt I've seen yet. Church butt. You can't make this spit up. Church butt, for real. All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go down. <laughs> so like that. Well, hello there. I am here safe after a white knuckle flipping drive uh, my gracious host just ran in the house this is his lovely wife her name is Emily em yeah we're going by her real name okay and his name is Buckles no his name's Travis Thank you. but uh, <laughs> I'm here I'm safe I'm alive that last hour was insane because I'm been up for a long time and going down a mountain at 75 80 miles an hour is not fun especially when you think at one point your kayak flew off the roof of your car and you thought you caused a traffic jam anyway I'm here safe all right guys this uh I'm so excited for this Hawaiian barbecue it's freaking amazing and I've been I haven't eaten it for three years and I cannot wait can't wait this is L, &L Hawaiian barbecue this place is awesome also the weight was non-existent look at that goodness and if I get hungry, if it's not enough, I'll order more. Mwah. Well, that was phenomenal. It's all gone. Was it good? Yeah, really good. I, I, I not only ate mine, I ate theirs too. You did. It's true. Yum, yum, yum. Hey guys, we're shopping. Oh, At Shields. Oh. Outdoors. Do I have a boner or an erection? Possibly. Will it last more than five hours? Definitely. So yeah, let's go in Shields. Oh yeah, this place is the sh And there's a, there's a, there's a, what do you call it? A Ferris wheel. Different than a ferret's wheel. I haven't even got to the cool stuff yet. A moose. Oh, we can't touch the animals. They might run away. That's awesome. This is really cool. These bears are really not to scale size though. All right, now we're in the fun section. Kayaks, boats, Hose, all the fun stuff. Paddles. Have any Warner paddles heel? That's like a Warner paddle. And for tents. At tents. Even though I've already found the tent that I want. We're in the gun section now, boys. More guns and stuff. Things I can't afford. I got three grand for a gun. I actually want to get a crossbow sometime this winter if possible. I think they're really cool. Not that I have anything against rifles, I just don't own any rifles. Handguns, not a, but crossbows are damn cool. Seriously, I'll take like, anyone who wants to donate me a thousand dollars right now. I think I could spend that in about five minutes, easily. Doesn't say anything about tickling the bear's balls here. 
Knives and multi-tools. Hell yeah. Ooh, axes. Oh, they're cheap, you know. I don't get the throwing knives. Now we're in the good section. Bushcrabs knives. Oh, and you can spin it too. Yo, Morgan, I know you're watching. FYI, I just told your story about Kindergarten Cop. We all laughed. Love you. I want to ride the thing that goes in circles, the Ferris wheel. I want all three of us to sit on there. <laughs> Me and him on each side and her in the middle and she's going to drive the bobcat. Can I just sit on the one below you guys and stare at you angrily? That'll work too. What are you doing, dude? It is impossible it's Thomas Jefferson. He's the third president. You can't touch him though. Abe Lincoln was across the other way. Oh, look at his mouth moving. The store even has a giant arch aquarium. Isn't that freaking cool? And there's fish in it. All right, so this place was fun, but I don't make the kind of money to shop here. It's fun to come to though. Well, look, we got a Buddha bear. That's kind of cool. There, I'm out for a hike today. I am at Cottonwood Grove Trailhead. All right, so my gimbal is going crazy again. I'm gonna walk here and uh, if it gets too hot, I'll have to take some layers off. But for uh, this point, I'm gonna go left. I have absolutely no idea where I am. So if I get lost, I get lost. But it's pretty. And hopefully I get some good pictures. Like I say, I can't find any of my other batteries. Just so I probably won't be recording nonstop. Only for that reason. They are somewhere here with me. I just, I'm not smart enough to figure out where they are yet. I guess I'm in Jordan, which is a suburb, suburb of Salt Lake City. It's gorgeous here. I'd say I haven't been filming too much just because I've been chilling, resting, saving up my energy. This weekend we are going to Moab uh, camping and hiking and all that jazz. So I'm super stoked for that. Like I said, I don't know where I am. I'm just gonna walk. Hope I don't get too lost. And we'll go from there. It's quite a pretty view here. I had to uh, take my shirt off. My over shirt, it's just too damn hot. And of course, of course I forgot my inhaler in the car. <sighs> Oops. There's a, quite the view of the, uh, uh, like the interstate. But also we have a view like that on the mountains. I say today's hike probably won't be a long one. I just need to get outside. And this is, this is what I figured I could do. So I'm doing it. Kind of a suburban hike, but it's a walk. Nice, nice path. Fresh-ish air, if you can consider that. This is kind of cool. Let's see uh, parkway overhead. Nice little nature bridge with some water. Flows. Uh, looks like it's got pretty, quite the uh, quite the flow of the water. Nice and cool down here too. Bet you this is where homeless people give each other hand jobs. Just a, just an FYI. Wouldn't be surprised. If that's what happens down here. The water is gray-ish green. Definitely don't want to drink that. Or at least I don't want to. Anyway. I 
want to keep going, but I can't breathe at all. Sorry, I lost track. Could you please rephrase that? My phone's going nuts. I want to keep going, but I can't breathe. Why didn't I bring my inhaler? So I'm going to head back. I didn't get too far, but I got it out and about, so it's all good. But this really sucks. I need to remember to bring that with me. I just, it feels like I'm, it feels like my lungs are on fire. Whew. Any guesses as to how much it costs to golf on that golf course? I'm gonna guess more than I make in three months. <laughs> Clear. I can't, it's gotta, it's gotta be outrageous. But that's why I don't golf. Also, I hate golf. Stupid, because I'm terrible at it. And I get frustrated after the third hole and want to quit. That's why I don't golf. It's just dumb. Oh, shiza. I'm dying. Note to self when I'm in Moab, bring my inhaler. I'd like to be able to breathe while well, I'm alive. Barely. It's happy to be back to my car so I can get some puffs, puff, puff from my inhaler in. Otherwise, it's a nice walk. Kind of a hot, brisk, windy day. Not bad. I like say not bad at all. I had a good time except for the fact that I can't breathe. But I'm here, I'm safe, and uh, I'm gonna walk now and probably die. All right, I'm just going handheld here, so if it's shaky, I don't care. We are at Oktoberfest, and I'm not drinking, and this is Laura. And they're beautiful kids, and her sexy husband. I'm gonna check out his butt, there we go. Mountains, big giant mountains. Polka, hell yeah! You love it, you know it! And we got a local entertainment. We are currently discussing a tram ride, but hopefully we get to go in the tram because I am not doing the lift because I'm a gaping vagina when it comes to stuff like that. Like a big, gushy, gapy, oozy, yeah, disgusting vagina. Say hi. Say hi. Can you blow a kiss? That's so damn cute. I hate heights, by the way. Just a heads up. I hate heights. Big chicken. I'll just hold on to Renzo. See, now I feel safe. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> it's swaying. The wind feels wonderful though. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> have your attention. Yes, please. At this time, we are running on a 15-minute schedule. I will be leaving here at 4.30 in about seven and a half minutes. Two minutes before I leave, I'll ring a bell. <coughs> Excuse me. Give you a couple minutes to get over here if you would like. You can stay up here. Catch the next tram down. Catch this one down next time. We are scheduled to stay open until 7.30. Woo! Do not miss that one. I'll go with you. Do you guys want to start off here? Do you 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 want to start off here? Okay, uh, while you're up here, please stay off of all turn up equipment and maintenance vehicles, ATVs. Please do not dis... Alright, I can definitely say I've never been this high, not even on weed brownies. This is incredible. I gotta get some uh, photography done for sure. Well worth the price. I don't care how much it cost. It was worth it. Isn't this unbelievable? This is the this is a snowbird, right? Yeah. We're at the top of Snowbird, eleven thousand elevation. Uh, after that tram ride up, it is absolutely stunning up here. I hate heights. People are mountain biking down here. They are insane. But at the same time, kudos to them. What a gorgeous view. I'm gonna get to the other side here because it's just as pretty. Do know that I hate heights. I'm a little scared. I'm getting some amazing pictures. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, I'm trying not to get too close over here. Like I say, I am one petrified cookie. Incredible. And there's a view of uh, the city. How cool is that? Amazing. I only feel safe because I'm beside a rail. <laughs> Honestly, I think I could, if it wouldn't kill me, I could totally hike down. Biking down? No way. But hiking down? Yeah, why not? It's because it's going down. It might take me like a couple years, but I'd be up for it. Stunning.
Yeah, now we go down. Yeah, but she had a black one. I think she had a black one.
Well, I am super, super impressed. Um, apart from a little sweaty and hot, I walked all the way down the the mountain, like, to my car, and I can still breathe. That was epic. Today was amazing. Uh, I loved it here at Snowbird. So I'm going to head back to the place that I'm staying as soon as these people get the funk out of my way. That was awesome. That was so much fun. So much fun. Well, hello there. I have been quiet today. I, I'm actually on the road. I am about 100 miles, less than 100 miles from Moab, uh, where I'm going to be staying. Let's see if my fingers aren't in view there. Uh, just doing handheld gnome mic on me at this moment, so hopefully it's picking up. Driving, it's uh, it's amazing countryside here. Mix of flats and mountains. It's really cool. I should be arriving in Moab about a little bit before 7. Sadly, I'm alone, which is fine because I'm a nomad, as you all might know about me. Uh, my uh, people I've been staying with uh, had pre-existing requirement appointments. They, the, uh, they, uh, they couldn't make it, and I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. I totally understand. Like I say, this, uh, this Moab trip, it's, uh, it's for me. <laughs> it's uh, one of my bucket list items. One of the things I've been talking about all summer, of course. And I'm getting close. Uh, weather right now is 85 degrees. It's been up and down temperature-wise. Uh, I'm not sure the weather tonight. Hopefully I can uh, toss a hammock up. If not, I am going to simply throw up my tent without a wind without a rain screen or a tarp over top hopefully uh, I know it gets really cold at night but I'm prepared for that so I'm not scared so I'm gonna keep driving like I say I am uh, an hour and a half away road is perfectly flat here's why I turn the camera on so hopefully the next time you see me I will be in Moab I'm gonna film a little bit of the countryside here so you can see it like I say, we've got mountains on the left, flat, and uh, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous driving today. How freaking cool is that? The bluff is just so freaking amazing. I love Utah. It's so beautiful. Well, hello there. I am at my camping spot. Kind of bummed out because I have to tent camp. And the site over here has these two perfect trees that would be absolutely perfect for a hammock. So I went and asked if I could switch spots and apparently no hammocks allowed. Can't understand that it's 2019 and people are racist against hammocks breaks my heart what is wrong with you people no not a big deal it's all cool I say I'm gonna set up my tent and I'm gonna get myself um, something to cook eat there's a little tiny cook stove here which I might I got some wood in my car Ooh, a little lizard look it a little lizard so cool so I'm gonna either get that fired up or I will just fire up my uh, portable cook stove um, the drive was great. The scenery is amazing. The mountain right there is just amazing. The view, the view tomorrow is going to be epic. Sadly, uh, there's no way to get sunset because it's blocked by that giant cliff. 
but it's okay because it's gorgeous here. So I'm gonna get my tent set up. I'm glad that I have, I don't know where to put it, honestly. I think I'm gonna put it right in the middle. I don't care. Uh, I won't have to stake it down. I don't know if I could even drive a stake in it. Yeah, it's soft. I'll stake it, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna look at the weather first, make sure I don't have to put up a tarp, otherwise it's just gonna be wide open ski. Yeah, I am super dope, super, super stoked. I said dope, I hate dope. All right, time to get busy and try to get some food in my gullet. I guarantee that you guys can't see where the crap. So here's my setup, I got my tent set up, which you probably can't see, but there's a tent right there. And over here I got some coffee ready to go. I got my chair and I got some sausages cooking. Got some tasters nasty. Uh, can't wait to have some coffee and just sit here. Uh, I did put a, I did end up putting a uh, tarp over top of the tent just because I want a little privacy. Uh, I'm not expecting any rain. Uh, it's supposed to go down to 65 tonight, so it's probably gonna be pretty chilly. And honestly, I might even be able to get some astrophotography inside the park here, possibly. We'll see, or I could just pass out. Uh, okay, I'm gonna eat, so I will catch up with everybody in the morning when you can probably see what I'm doing. Hey, I'm awake. Uh, this is what I got in my setup, but you guys probably couldn't see last night. Setup is just a tent on a tarp. I didn't sleep the best because this air mattress I bought hiking mattress leaked constantly so I went and got some Gorilla Glue epoxy and hopefully that holds otherwise having some tasters nasty and then I'm going to figure out what I'm doing for the day just relaxing right now trying to wake up beautiful day hot it's gonna be a hot one oh coffee is hitting the spot I had neighbors that they just left so I don't feel such like such a weirdo sitting here talking to myself while I drink my coffee I do need to get cleaned up yet, but I want to get something to eat first. Like I say, today's going to be a long day. Uh, I did go to the dollar store. I picked up the uh, epoxy for that air mattress. Like I say, my body's too fragile to handle <laughs> laying like that. So hopefully this fixes it. Like I say, it's just leaking at the valve. It's really, it's self-inflating. So it's like a, it's like a pad, but it will hold more air to get softer or more comfortable as I like to think. So I'm gonna get another cup of cup of blah, 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 blah. another couple cups of coffee in me, and then uh, as much as I want to wear long pants today, I should wear shorts, but I still think I'm gonna wear long pants. Definitely gonna be a jacket tied around me and uh, hike kind of day. I gotta get myself a Nash or an Arches National Park pass. That's thirty bucks. It's a uh, It'll be worth it. Like I said, 25 bucks for the tram, that was worth every penny. So that's the plan. Like I said, I wanna get cleaned up. My allergies are absolutely killing me. I do wanna show you guys the view here. It's phenomenal. Like uh, I've never, <laughs> it's, it, I know I say this a lot. It feels like I'm in Red Dead Redemption. I'm not sure what I'm gonna eat I had uh, hot dogs last night, or sausages. I don't know if I want them again. I did pick up a can of beef stew. They're like beef chunky soup. Eh. Might have that. Also, I got oatmeal, but I don't know. Oatmeal just doesn't sound like it hits the spot right now. Um, yeah. So I'm going to sit here and try to wake up a little bit. Like I say, I was up off and on all night. I think I woke up around four. I didn't get back to sleep till at least six. Peed about 18 times because of the coffee I drank before bed last night. Also got really dark really quick last night. It went from it went from bright to dark in two seconds. Mm. I don't know what it is about instant coffee on camping. It just tastes great. I know it sounds wrong, but it just tastes great. I love it. It's also good an iced coffee. Iced coffee would be good, but I don't have, I don't have any money. <laughs> I have enough food to get me by here, and uh, I have to borrow some money from my house hosts. 
due to a couple of unforeseen things. Not a big deal. Like I say, I'm, I get paid Friday, so I'll be paying them back right away. Or you can come murder me. I'll pay you back. I have the money. It's just a couple days away. I want to get home um, safe. And, uh, yeah, so... Like I said, I'm going to sit here and drink some more coffee. Probably get something to eat. A beef stew actually sounds pretty good. I need to find my little thing of soap. I don't know where it is. Otherwise, I'll just wash that pan with shampoo. I like to clean up after myself, so... That is what I'm going to do. And uh, when I'm all ready to go, we're going to go hiking and doing photography. Like I say, there's not a cloud in the sky today. It is phenomenal here. I really like this campground. I just wish I could hang it. I would have slept so good in a hammock. And those trees right there, it would have been perfect. But I get it. I understand why they don't let people sling them. Although there's the sights across the street here. They have like that... Those posts? I wonder if you could sling them in there. Although I think they just have a no... I think they have a no hammock type law rule. Which is fine. Like I say, I've got a tent. Also, I feel like a, an idiot. So the tent I have here that I've been using for years and years. I always slid the tent posts through the slots. Not realizing I could just clip them on. Like the little clip hooks on the posts. I'm an idiot. I was doing things way the harder way. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Allergies. Well, I am in Arches National Park. I'm at the bottom, well, I'm halfway, I'm part way up. So I'm gonna do a mix of uh, filming with the gimbal without the microphone in, so there might be a little bit of wind, I apologize for that. If it's really bad, I will figure something out post. I just don't want to go and haywire on me. It's gorgeous here, so I'm going to get out and about taking pictures and just loving this. Um, so, yeah, let's do this. I think right now I am at what is called... i got to take out the map. Sorry about that. Uh, map, map, map. I am... At Park Avenue, LaSalle Mountains Viewpoint, there's a little hiking trail. I'm probably going to take it. It is warm out. <laughs> it's beautiful here. All right, let's have some fun. I'm going to say I'm going to do a lot of hold, hand holding like this. So awesome. You can hike down there, but I'm not going to. It looks like a good way to die. Well, sadly, I, uh, I'm unable to wear my cowboy hat because the wind is just blowing it off constantly. So I just dumb damn gave up. So I'm going to venture up higher and higher. I see some Hutterites. I wonder if they know my friends. Should I ask them about the sheet and the hole? Another set of stunning views. How freaking cool this is. It's amazing. So I'm going to get some photos. I love it. What a day. And it's hot. <laughs> it's so hot today. It is so awesome in here, guys. I am at the ancient sand dunes. 
and this place is very cool. I'm going to try to take pictures. I'm not allowed to walk out there, which really sucks. But, damn, that's cool. Some more beauty that I just keep, it's just, it just never stops. Some more of the sand dunes. It just goes on forever. Here I am at Balanced Rock. Definitely one of the highlights of the park here. Uh, kind of looks like a penis. A little bit. I'm gonna get some pictures of it. <laughs> the worst. All right, we're going for a walk or a hike. Delicate Arch viewpoint. Should be fun. I love how the, uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, but like these rocks are almost green. It's so cool. This might be a long lens type situation. Also just need to note that it's hot, I'm hydrated, caffeinated, I'm having absolutely no issues with altitude. And I actually brought my inhaler today. Look at me being smart, right? Hey. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Way out there is Delicate Arch. I think there's other ways to get there, but this is as close as I can get here. I am gonna throw on my long lens. Uh, I did have a lot of issues getting up here, I'm not gonna lie. I did stop a bunch of times, drink some water, do some puffs. I made it, I took my time. It's beautiful up here. All right, going down. By the way, roll tide. I'll try to get a little closer, guys. You're all welcome, by the way. I figured I'd give you guys an encore. It's so much easier hiking down a path and going up. I'm not even at the top yet. Like I said, I could spend all day here. Well, I do have my cook stove, so if I do need to cook, I could just cook my meal here. I'm going to have a snack when I get back to my car. These stairs, steps are nice. I haven't seen any wildlife yet, other than that fine German chick, but... Thank you 
so much. Absolutely. That was delicious. Yeah. <laughs> You're a blessing. I got you, baby. I just hit my daily steps for the day. Makes me happy. Hopefully this footage is not too shaky. Like I say, I don't have this in the gimbal. It just, I don't like the way it makes that squeaking noise all the time. It drives me nuts. So if it's a little shaky, it's a little shaky, but you know what? I'm walking down a mountain. I think I can get a pass. So far the only wildlife I've seen is that little lizard by my, uh, by my tent in the KOA campground. I love the green on the rocks. I don't know what causes that. We are now in Salt Valley Overlook. <clears throat> the fact, the one thing I love about this, more than anything, is the fact that there's a road. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a panoramic in here because this is phenomenal. Absolutely. Today has been panoramic after panoramic after panoramic. I can't help myself. <laughs> I just can't. It's too amazing. All right, I'm back hiking again. I think this is Sand Dune Arch. Is this it a hiking trail? Sand Dune and Broken Arch Trail. And the shots and the hits just keep coming. Phenomenal. Seriously, <laughs> this place is awesome. I kind of wish I could stay here till the middle of the night and do astrophotography. It's fine. All right, I'm going to walk. This is what I've been waiting for. Look a lizard, finally. Bye. Little lizard right there. This is the stuff I've been dreaming of. Walking through cracks, filming this. This is worth all the money in the world to me. Unbelievable. I feel like I'm in a zoo, but I'm not. And the sand is so soft. soft unreal yes. I gotta get a picture of this I don't care it's just people And yes, I'm huffing, and I am puffing. Wow.
Well, I don't think I have any sand in my boots. I think I tied them pretty damn good. But <laughs> I can see how you would get the sand in here. So that was the first arch. That was amazing. On to another. It's a lot easier going down than coming up. <laughs> Haven't had to touch my inhaler. I might hit it when I go back to the car though. Feeling good. Definitely getting in lots of exercise. Mm, that looks like a giant middle finger sticking up. Back on the path. Gorgeous out. Like I say, I wish I wasn't wearing a hat because my, <laughs> I'm gonna, I wish I, I'm gonna have weird hat tan. That cool rock there. I see the next arch. So far, I've been in here for three hours. They recommend three days, but I think I'll be good in one visit. For anyway, things will change in the future, especially if I bring someone special here. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Smile. <laughs> uh, here's the next arch. I don't know how clear you can see it. But gorgeous, this place. Whew. One thing I did earlier that I uh, wish I'd done a lot sooner, I didn't check my white balance on my camera. Once again, gotta make sure that you check that stuff because settings change. I'm shooting everything manual. I'm probably not gonna throw up settings on the pictures when I throw them up. There will be lots of pictures in this video. So there's that. All right, turn you guys back on when I get closer to the arch. I was kind of lost for a second. I'd lost where I was going. And now I see it. Broken arch. I need to drink more fluids. I'm uh, <clears throat> getting a touch of heat exhaustion out here. Uh, to be expected, I'm in the frickin' desert, right? Oh wow, this piece of wood is really cool looking. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> and this walk, a heck of a lot further than I thought it was. A heck of a lot further than I expected it to be. I'm glad I had a snack, but like I say, I need more fluid. I am dehydrating fast. I'll take care of that when I get back to the car. If I make it back to the car. Kidding. Really kind of wish I was doing more primitive camping, but also I think I'd probably die here at night. Get eaten by a mountain lion. Or a goat. Whew, this arch is far. I think it's this way. If you hear any banging, it's my camera smacking my knife. Getting closer. Definitely getting my workout. There it is. How cool is that rock there? I feel like I'm gonna get shot at by some sniper up on the rock because I'm Arthur Morgan. And a wanted man. There it is, broken arch. And that's where I'm turning back because I'm sweating my butt off. I need liquid. So I'm gonna head back to my car after I get a couple more pictures. So amazing. 
I can, can you imagine being here at night for astrophotography, how amazing it would be? Well, I'm back in my car and I feel like an idiot. So apparently, over on my right, I will show on the camera in a second, that's broken arch. That would explain why there's no arch there. And then the other arch, the last one that I got to, which was the long walk, that's tapestry arch. I am pooped. <laughs> that's broken arch. And over there, the far, far away is a tapestry arch. All right, let's go to the end of this. I don't know if I'm gonna hike anymore. I am literally, all right. The devil's garden now back on hiking. I just realized my fly <laughs> was undone. So now I'm curious, how long has my fly been undone? And the people have been looking at my crotch and like, why is that guy's fly undone? So this could be fun. Like I say, got some fluids. I'm gonna take it easy here. Try to get in and out and then get the heck out of here. Get back to uh, the campsite, get some food in me. I think this trail is mostly shaded. Very cool. Very cool though. Thankfully shaded. It's a little windy. Not bad. Look at the erosion on the rocks. Wonder if they cleared the path? They would have had to, right? It wouldn't just be naturally here, it would be a cleared path. This will be <clears throat> the last set of arches I hit up today. There's more, but I don't have the strength or energy to get <laughs> going. I'm just pooped. I think this is pine tree arch or tunnel arch. I'm not 100% sure. That sun is really, really... Also, if you look straight ahead, I don't know if you can see them, there's three deer feeding. I got some nice pictures of them. On to the next arch. Three more to go. And then I'm out of here. Two more to go. That's the good news. The bad news is I gotta walk back, but honestly, apart from the sun, I'm not complaining. I hope you people that follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, Hotcakes Man Photography, HCM Photography. There's gonna be so many pictures of rock formations, cliffs, and arches coming up. <laughs> Please don't get sick of them. But again, I don't really, I really don't care because this has been, Something I've wanted to do my whole life, especially since I got into photography and I finally, finally have got to do it and I have no regrets at all, none. I just noticed this little opening, it's beautiful. Well, I made it. I'm just gonna wait for the sun to move a little bit. There's a landscape arch. And another arch. A little one up here, I'm not sure what it's called. But I wanna get landscape arch. And then it's a 45 minute trek back to my car. I'm gonna be eating in the dark for sure tonight. And probably swimming in the dark. I also have to pee really bad. So I'm gonna have to get off the trail here and break the law. Cause I can't hold it till I get back to the, the parking lot. Ugh. I'm no Superman.
now to see what kind of killer time I can do to get the heck back to my car. What a fantastic day. What views. It was worth the 1,400 mile drive, roughly. I have no regrets at all. I will be back. Not only that, I know whatever Charlie can throw at me this fall, I'm ready for it. Because I was a beast today. All right, time to trek back. I made it to the parking lot, which means I need to pee, which means I didn't pee, but I made it. And uh, I'm gonna head down this mountain. What a epic day. I have so many pictures, it's not even funny. I cannot recommend this place enough to everyone and anyone. Even an old, how to shape fat butt like me was able to do it and survive. So far I'm at over 15,000 steps and I will probably get more. Good morning. <laughs> well, my air mattress held up. The only thing that didn't hold up was the wind. It, uh, it's probably about blowing about 35 miles an hour. Blew the tarp off my tent about seven o'clock, so I decided it was time to get up and get the heck out of here. So I'm going to head back to Salt Lake now. Moab, you were a blast. Really glad that today is not the day that I was doing all the hiking because that wind up there would be magnified by 50. So I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a fun drive home. Or back, well, not home, but. I slept good? Well, not really. I slept meh, honestly. I, th I think I was asleep by about 10, and then I was up three in the morning, five in the morning, six in the morning, barely slept. And then, then the, when the tarp blew off, that was just it. So I will get cleaned up when I get back to Emily and Travis's. Otherwise I'm out of here for this beautiful drive that I'm not looking forward to because it's really not that fun to drive, especially in the wind, but I'll be fine. Oh, hello, it's me. So I have left Salt Lake. I'm actually in, just got into Wyoming and had some food. It is 12 o'clock, so, so noon o'clock in some countries. I uh, had some Arby's, it was excellent. I had to stop when I entered Wyoming at the port of entry because my kayak had to be checked over and I passed the flying colors because I haven't been on the water for like months. But I, apparently Utah is a uh, high risk state for <clears throat> bad things. I'm guessing like algaes and, and creatures that attach to their boats. So I'm going to hop onto I-80 and I'm going to drive. My GPS says 14 hours and 49 minutes, but... I know it's going to be much, much later. I'm thinking I'll be home around 7 a.m. with pee breaks and food and having to pull over and <clears throat> pleasure myself multiple times. Just kidding. Uh, no, so far um, it's overcast. It's cool. It's only like 52 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's like, mm, like 8 or 9 Celsius. Not complaining. Uh, I'm hoping gas gets affordable. It's, here's what really bothers me. So I paid $2.79 for fuel as I pulled in. I look over, because I was getting low. I was worried. I look over, and there's a gas station that's $2.43. How is there friggin' 30 cents difference between two pumps? <laughs> it's whatever. I got gas. I'm good. I will make it home with the money I have, which rocks. I'm going to Shibugi on down the road feeling really good hopefully this food doesn't give me a food coma because that's gonna suck oh hello there I am eh, around the halfway point give or take an hour or two feeling good 
driving has been going really good. I got a couple hours left of sunshine. I guess it's what about two and a half hours of sunshine left. Uh, it's estimating me to get home at 4:15 a.m., which is not too bad. Driving with my car in third gear and my gas mileage is phenomenal. So I need to do that mm. on uh, trips where it's a lot more hilly because I'm getting way better gas mileage. So I'm going to get back on the road and drive and drive and drive. Um, yeah. Still in Wyoming. In a town called Midwest Wyoming. And I am about out of here. Uh, I don't know if that guy wants me the heck out of the way, so I'll move a little bit. Like I say, everything's been good. Tra traffic's been good, not too much construction. A little bit here and there, nothing to worry about. But I'm going to carry on with my drive. It's been, honestly, the trip of a lifetime. Howdy! I am driving still. I'm still in the lovely state of Wyoming, but I'm getting very close to South Dakota, I can tell. I just know I've done this trip before. Uh, my cell phone GPS just switched to the dark mode, so that tells me that it's getting dark. Also, it's dark out. As you can see, it's dark. Uh, I was really, really hoping for a sunset. I was gonna pull over and snap a couple pictures. No such luck. It's fine. Um, I did get to see a antelope up close. And he was right on the side of the road. What a beautiful creature. <laughs> but them horns, though, I would not want to mess with them. Also saw a, I would call it a 30 point buck, but I'm gonna call it a 15 point buck because it was missing one of its antlers. That thing was majestic and beautiful. Uh, just stay the hell away from my car! So, uh, less than eight hours on the trip. Uh, that's depending on this route. I am going to switch it a little bit because I don't like the way it wants me to go. I want to go on uh, Highway 212. I'm not sure where that picks up. So I'm just taking my time, making my way downtown, having a good, <laughs> a good drive. Uh, still on a, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I am still on a high from <coughs> Arches National Park. I'm not even kidding. Like, oof. like I just can't stop thinking about how amazing and majestic that place was. Definitely the highlight of my year so far. All right, I'm going to concentrate on the road. I've been playing some uh, loud, loud music and singing my heart out. It's a really good way to stay awake. Not that I'm even tired because I'm not. But uh, on that one road in uh, Wyoming, between Gillette and uh, Midwest, uh, that's the road, by the way, a couple years ago I ran out of fuel on my motorcycle and had to hitch a ride and give a guy an HJ on, on the DL to get uh, <clears throat> some gas. Um, there was so many deer. I mean, well, not deer, but antelope and deer and animals. and It was ridiculous. All right, I venture, I venture on down the road. I'm gonna give you a little bit of front view. Uh, yeah, if you're seeing a rope, that's the kayak, yo. The kayak I didn't even freaking use. And if it's shaky, it's because I'm not in a gimbal. Sky though, it's really cold today too. It's uh, actually, ooh, I got a text from Laura, Laura, Laura. Um, who I went to snowboard with and she sent me a picture which if I can get it off my cell phone I will and I'll imp I'll put it in the video right here uh, it was a picture of the tram and up in snowboard completely completely covered in snow snow in Salt Lake freaking insane all right I drive Hola, senors. I am less than seven hours from home. Feeling fantabulous. I stopped and had some disgusting McDonald's. I'm still on vacation. I can do stuff like that. Also, I don't have that stuff at home. Like, I, I got to drive an hour to get McDonald's. And as disgusting as it is, it's really good road trip food. 
my GPS thinks I'm talking to it. <clears throat> so results for shrimp food along your route. Shrimp food. Clear results. You're oh, you're so stupid, phone. No, I'm not going to La Costa. Huh. Everyone's listening. <laughs> so I'm going to party on down the road. Oh, I am in South Dakota, by the way. I'm a spearfish. 422 miles from home. On the long, long road. So I mentioned a long, well, you know, probably a few minutes ago. <laughs> that uh, one thing to do when you're driving at night and you're afraid of deer is to have your music a thump, a thump, a thumping. Uh, it tends to scare them away. The louder the stereo, the better. Uh, sadly, right now, I'm about to come up on the Missouri Bridge, which I, at some point, want to get a picture of. Uh, both times on this trip, it has been uh, something that I have driven over at night. So, once again, it's nighttime. I'm driving over one of my favorite bridges in the world. Uh, and do know that uh, bridges scare the living ship out of me. But, hey, I still think they're awesome at the same time. They are a wonder of modern engineering. And, uh, yeah, they're, 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 they're awesome. Ooh, ooh, Missouri River... Lake Ohi something something. You guys can't even see how freaking cool this is. Oh, there we go. Now yeah, you can see the bridge. It's a big bridge. It's a it's a big and big bridge. I'm white knuckling right now because I hate. I'm petrified of bridges. I don't know why. Uh, there's one bridge, the Mackinac Mackinac City Bridge. Mackinac Bridge. Uh, look it up. Trust me. Look it up. It's like five miles long. Which the fact that they built a bridge that's five miles long is just incredible. Uh, someday, I, I, I saw it one time years back. Had the opportunity to drive over it and I completely wussed out. Well, that's that. We did the bridge. All right, I'm gonna actually focus on driving now. Hi there. I feel really, 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 really bad, guys. I have been home for days. Uh, I, I rushed home. I rushed to get home uh, to uh, do some nature stuff. So that's the reason I didn't uh, film an outro. I'm home, everything is safe. It's been freaking great. One of the trips in my life. I still haven't taken the kayak off my car, I'm horrible. If you liked the video, which I hope you did, because I had a lot of fun on this trip. It was one of the best trips of my life, honestly. It was very low key when it needed to be and fun when it needed to be. Uh, if you like it, make sure you follow the channel, hit subscribe, comment, say you liked it. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Man Photography. Currently I'm not on Facebook because F Facebook, it sucks, I hate it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it was a blast. Uh, this this uh, little trip was a blast. And I'm home safe, and I made it. Hope the lack of non-stabilized footage was okay. Like I said, I'm just hand it, holding it in my hand. There will be more. The next big, big trip is going to be Thanksgiving when I go hiking with Charlie. Up until then, I don't know, maybe a video will pop up here and there. 